Leading Little Ones to God by Marian M. Spooland. Illustrations by Paul Stubb. Part 1, Lesson 2. We Cannot See God. Would you like to see God? Yes. But we cannot see God. Nobody has ever seen God. Why can't we see God? We can't see God because he's a spirit. We cannot see a spirit. What is a spirit? Well, when God made you, he gave you a body and a spirit or a soul. Your spirit lives inside your body. Your spirit is the real you. It is your spirit inside your body that listens while we read. It's your spirit that thinks and loves. It's your spirit that's happy and makes you smile. It's your spirit that is sad sometimes and makes the tears come. Nobody can see your spirit, but you can feel it living there inside of you. Now God is all spirit. He does not have a body. That's why we can't see him. But he sees and hears and loves. He sees and hears much more than we can see or hear, even though we cannot see him. There's a reason, too, why we must not see God. God is all glorious. That means he is very holy and shiny and bright. The Bible tells us about a man named Moses. Moses was a good friend of God. God often talked to Moses, but Moses never saw God. One day Moses said to God, Please show me your glory. God said to Moses, No man can see me and live, but I will hide you in the rocks, and then I will pass by you. Moses went up on a mountain alone. God hid him between the rocks, and God passed by him. God let Moses see just a little bit of his glory. Even a man like Moses could not stand to see more than that of God's glory. When Moses came down from the mountain, his face was bright as sunshine. Just seeing a little of God's glory had made his face shine so bright that the people were afraid of him. The glory of God is so bright that nobody could bear to see him. We cannot bear to look at the sun when it shines bright. It hurts our eyes to look at the sun. God's glory is much greater than the glory of the sun. It is good that we cannot see God. The sunshine and the stars tell us about his glory. But if we saw him or even part of his glory, we would be very afraid. We would not even live something to talk about. Has anybody ever seen God? Why is it that we can't see God? Why would it not be good for us to see God? Psalm 104, 1 through 13. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. He wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their waters. He makes the clouds his chariot and rides on the wings of the wind. He makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains, but at your rebuke, the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder, they took flight. They flowed over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place you assigned for them. Yet you, you set a boundary they cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. He makes springs pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. 
They give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the air nest by waters. They sing among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied by the fruit of his work. Let's pray. God in heaven, we're glad that we can pray to you. We ask you to bless us as we read this book together. And we want to learn more and more about you so that we can love you very much. Amen. If you enjoyed this devotional and would like to hear more, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends.